Part 2, Chapter 7 Winston wakes up with his eyes full of tears because he had a bad dream. Julia comforts him and asks what it was about. Winston realizes that the dream was about the last moments he saw his mother and sister. He remembers being young, like around the age of 10. He remembers of the rallies and shootings when the revolution happened. So this is like back in the, back in the 50s or late 40s. He also knows his dad disappeared when he was even younger than that. And when he disappeared, his mom became totally spiritless. She still took care of the kids. She did the cooking, the cleaning, the ironing. But everything she did, there was like, there was, everything was just a blank with her. There were times where she would just hug both of her children for a long time and not say anything. And it was like she knew something was about to happen. His younger sister was like two or three, but she looked really sickly. Um, her mom would, uh, her, her mom would nurse her a lot, but they didn't have a lot of food in the house. So she always looked starving. As a family, they're always low on food, and Winston, as a young boy, he kept complaining he wanted more. Every time they would eat or they would make something, he kept demanding more food. His mom would give him the biggest portions, but he'd also steal food from their pantry when the mom wasn't paying attention or wasn't looking. One day, they got a ration of chocolate, and they hadn't had it for a couple months. And so what happened is the mom wanted to split it equally between the mom, Winston, and his sister, but Winston threw a big temper tantrum. So after a little while, mom gave three quarters of it to Winston and the rest he gave to his little sister. And so as the little sister's looking at it, Winston just grabs it and starts running away. His mom yells at him to come back to give her back the chocolate. And the little sister just stared at him with big eyes crying. And that was the last he saw of them. After he ran out of the house, he hid in the street for a few hours because he was ashamed of himself. But when he came back, they'd both disappeared and there was nothing like messed up about the apartment it was like everything was the same except his mom and sister were gone winston doesn't know if they were killed or put in a labor camp or they could be anywhere but you know they just disappeared he realizes though that his mom hugging his sister in that last moment even though she knew they were both going to die shows that the party can never get inside you they can make you say what they want and they can make you act like they want but they don't own your actual inner thoughts Winston and Julia realize they will confess to the party eventually, especially when they're caught, but they promise each other never to betray each other, which means they'll never stop loving one another.